And welcome back everyone. Today I have a cool tone look which is a little bit out of my comfort zone but I thought it'd be a nice change of things and I'm going to go ahead and get started with my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation in the stick form and I'm just going to go ahead and make a couple stripes all around my face and then I'm going to take my Tarte airbrush brush from the Tarte Nicole Concilio line and just blend it all in. Alright, and now I'm taking my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in the shade, um, well, one of the fairest shade, and I'm just going to go ahead and place it everywhere where I want to really kind of highlight my face today. Then, of course, you guys always know the drill. I'm going to go ahead and blend it in with my Very Dirt Beauty Blender, which I need to clean ASAP. Alright, and of course I'm going to go ahead and set my concealer with my Kat Von D setting powder and we're just going to leave it to sit to bake for a little while. And now I'm taking my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre, which you guys probably know by now that that is my absolute favorite eye primer. I'm just going to go ahead and apply that. And now of course we're going to set it with that same trans translucent powder as before. And of course, while we're baking, take some time to play on your phone, and then right when you feel like it's done, go ahead, just brush it all away, and I use the rest of the powder just to set my face as well. Alright, and now it's time for the eyes. I'm using the same palette as my last tutorial, the, uh, what's called Too Faced Christmas in New York palette, and I'm going to be taking the shade Mint Chocolate, I think that's what it's called, and I'm going to be taking that and blending that all over my eye today. I like this color because it's like a really pale purple. It has just enough color in it, but not too, too, too much, so I thought it would be a nice, almost transition color, and I didn't want to go in with any browns because I thought, you know, that would kind of make it a little too warm. Okay, and now I'm taking the shade Almond Mocha, and I'm going to go in with like a tapered blending brush. I think this is my one by Morphe. It's by their um, Rose Gold line, but it's pretty much just a Morphe M433, and I'm going to take that and apply that to my outer and then blend it slightly into the crease. Alright, so just to make sure my uh, shadow pops out, I'm taking my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and I'm going to be taking that and applying it to my lid to act as a base before our shadows. Okay, and I of course forgot to show a clip of the shadow, but I'm taking the shade Honey Lavender from that same palette and just packing that carefully all over my eyelid. And this doesn't have too much color, so I'm going to try to build it up as much as possible, but it's a really pale lavender purple shade. Alright, and of course you guys may or may not have seen this, but this is my Tarte Tardis eyeliner, and I'm just going to go ahead and create the same basic wing that I always do. I feel like I can never do a look without a wing, but maybe I'll try to do one for you guys sooner or later. Okay, and I feel like I never show you guys how I apply my false lashes, but I'm taking the lashes in hot tea today, and I'm of course just going to go ahead and apply them. I've been really into using my thumbs, it takes a little practice, but that's just how I do it. Alright, and now I'm taking that shade, that same shade in chocolate and running that all over my lower lash line just to kind of slightly define it. So every now and again, I like to take a little bit of concealer just to kind of clean up underneath my brows. So I'm going to be doing that now. I'm taking the same concealer as before just to clean up underneath my brows to kind of define them and carve them out. And of course, I'm going to be bronzing on my face and like slightly contouring. Nothing too serious, but kind of making a light bronze all over my face because I'm so god awfully pale and I need a little bit of warmth back in me. Alright, and I'm going to be taking my hourglass blush and just going ahead and applying that just like every other time. 
And now I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Glow Kit and Gleam and I'm just going to be highlighting my face. I love this kit. I'm using one of the lightest shades, of course, because I'm so fair. And I feel like this one would look really well because it was so like cool tone. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking one of my absolute favorite lipsticks from MAC. This is Stone. It's a really cool tone, like gray-brown, I want to say. And I'm, of course, going to go ahead and apply this. And this went so perfect with the look. And I just forgot how much I love this lipstick. And I felt so awesome wearing it for, like, no reason. And of course guys, that completes the look. If you did like this, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more from me. Alright, and bye guys. I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.